Guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what? LG sent me a new phone! Yeah! Okay, so this is something I am beyond ecstatic about because LG is the only company that has done this so far, but they reached out to me and was like, hey, would you like to check out our new phone? And my answer was simply, hell freaking yes! And uh, so they shipped it, like, immediately. And then here we are. I just received this thing, and now I'm trying very hard to eat it open because that tape is strong. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a package, and let's see if there's any information on it. All right, there's not. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look, would you look at it? Would you look at it? All right, video's over. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Please give the video a thumbs up. This is what we're Josh shooting them out. Psych! <laughs> Say hello to the LG G6. And it's got see more, hold less, huge display, almost no bezel. Just uh, got freaking a 3300 milliamp hour battery with fast wireless charging. Freaking, this thing is lit. Let's go. So on the back here, it says it has a travel adapter, the data cable, the SIM reject tool, quick start guide, warranty information, blah, 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 quick Qualcomm Snapdragon, Bluetooth, wireless emergency alerts, and that is the end of it. Let's go ahead and open this up. Huge, huge shout out to the folks over at LG. You guys are amazing and awesome. I really appreciate this. You guys are getting your product out there in my hands and allowing me to tell the world more about this phone and normally I wouldn't have been able to do so. So here we go. Full vision, water and dust resistant. So that's awesome. This thing can take a little bit of water and keep on kicking. And a wide angle camera. That's also nice too. Oh my goodness. That feels awesome. You've got the dual. Well, it looks like a dual camera back there. I obviously don't know too much about the phone yet. So the fingerprint sensor is right there. That's awesome because as most of you know, one of my favorite phones, one of my main phones, phones I, I can't recommend enough is the Nexus 6P. And it's right there. So that's awesome. Right there, not down here. That's where it should be. And look what they did. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? That's a Type-C port, my friends. That is type freaking c So you can plug in your charger any way you want to. It just does not matter. So go ahead and get you some little car chargers or something. There's some power banks that have Type-C. One of my favorite ones is a Zero Lemon 30,000 milliamp hour. It's got a Type-C and it charges at full speed. Definitely recommend picking that up. I keep one in my car because my car doesn't charge my freaking phone when the car's off. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the stuff in the box here. We got the quick start guide. We've got the charger, which is let's go ahead and get a looky at the specs here. And it looks like it's uh, nine volts at 1.8 amps. That's kind of hard to see. Let's pull this off. There you go. That's a whole lot easier to see. Nine volts at 1.8 amps or five volts at 1.8 amps. So. In case you need to replace this thing, I've actually lost some power adapters and I wish I would have known exactly what the specs were on the original one. So one of the interesting things I noticed right off the bat is the fact that this is a USB type A to USB type C. So that's pretty unique and it's a fast charger. So that's awesome. Most of the time it's a uh, type C to type C. My Nexus 6P is literally a type C to type C. So let's go ahead and we could technically charge the phone with that, but let's use the charger it came with. So let's check out the rest of the stuff in here. We've got the SIM card eject tool, which I'm gonna go ahead and grab that out of here. And that's the rest of it. That's pretty much the gist of it. Parents are pissed, but the kids love it. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> I'm so excited, this is awesome. Okay, so that's not a little light. It looked like a little light could be down there, but I don't see any sign of it. So yeah, you can just basically turn it around, and if you're if it's dark and you're trying to charge your phone by your bedside like I do each day, you know, I, I get so used to taking the charger and filling the end of it. If it's got rough edges, then I know I need to flip it around and put it in my note. <laughs> so type C, you don't have to worry about that. You can just put it in. You can flip it in reverse it. There's some Miss Elliot for you. You younger folks don't know about her. One of the things that I've noticed with this uh, 
uh, I believe 7.1 or something, was the fact that they added a reboot option to the Nexus 6P. That's just this little mount to hold it to a car thingy. But I'm going to go ahead and swap the SIM cards out. I'll be right back. There's a very big door here. So that's probably where the SD card goes. Very nice. Put my SIM card in there. And you can also throw a little micro SD card in there. When I say little, not so little. I don't believe, I know the exact size you can throw in there, but it's probably 128, possibly 256. Because these new phones are getting better and better. You've got the, <laughs> I'm so excited right now, this is crazy. you got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a noise canceling microphone, a microphone down here, a speaker grill for the bottom, and then your volume rockers. This is a this is a very sleek phone. This is quite nice. There's no buttons right here at all, so you just basically turn it on with that. Uh, how? Oh, this is an actual physical button, so you just press it and hold it, and the device should turn. Yep, it just vibrated. That's interesting. I haven't gotten a USB full USB to Type C to charge a device very fast, and this one has one, so. I'm going to have to look into that. Like, the same little hole or dots on both of them. I really thought it was a light at first. Just going to do a quick little setup here and connect to my uh, on-hub router. And I do apologize. It's actually my Google Wi-Fi little three hotspot things or three mesh network things because uh, I had everything already set up to connect to on-hub. So I just didn't want to change everything over to another Wi-Fi name. Pull all my cameras down from where they're mounted and... Sync them all up to them. So I just named my Google Wi Fi points on Hub. The LG US 997 is apparently what I have. Let's start fresh. All right, we're almost done with the setup. And one of the things I notice is the little icons at the top there to let you know that data is being sent and received. Now, I'm a nerd. And if you watch my Moto G unboxing, you know that's something I like to see. So that's pretty awesome they included that. I'm going to go ahead and set up this pin lock thing real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and place our fingerprint on the thing here. Lift it up each time, moving it around. Fingerprint added. Let's add more. Let's go ahead and add this fingerprint. I just woke up and took my daughter to school, so I'm, I'm sorry. I it's still early for me. All right, next. Yes, yes. I uh, no. No. Well, that bottom one did look like something that was kind of nice. So you can go ahead and set up where it transfers stuff from your old device to your new device. We can go ahead and use the USB cable, connect the USB OTG adapter to the new device, an old device. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and, I know it's Samsung, but it's the quickest one I have to find. We're going to go ahead and connect these two phones here and use this feature just to show you basically how easy it is to do this. This phone, I've had this phone for a minute now. <laughs> Charging slowly. <laughs> it's nice that it told you that. You know what? Let's not even use this little adapter thing. Since we have Type-C to Type-C, let's just do it this way. Type-C, Type-C. Now it doesn't say charging slowly, interesting. All right, so we finally got this to install. It, for whatever reason, was given a whole lot of trouble, but let's go ahead and open it up and see what happens here. We're gonna go ahead and change it to file transfer. And on this one, we're gonna do the same thing. And it went ahead and said connecting, sweet. So that's how you do that. Connected to Nexus 6P on the old device, select the items you want. So, downloaded apps and next. And apparently, it's going to do its thing. And this process could take a while. I did have a lot of apps on here, so I probably should have chosen the ones I want. All right, so that did take a little bit of time, but it is complete. Obviously, I've had my Nexus 6P since the day the phone was announced and released, 
and I have not reset it or done anything to it. So it is the you know I I have a lot of crap on there, and I basically just told it to take all that crap and put it on here. So it it's going to take a while depending on how long you've had your phone, but obviously it wants me to restart. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have it set to require a pattern. Apparently you can get up to 30 attempts. That's crazy. All right, so here's the home screen after doing the process of transferring one phone to this phone. So we're gonna get a good idea of what all it transferred, how it all worked, and etc. I'm gonna go ahead and take Wi-Fi calling off. I don't use it. So when you drag down the notifications, you see your familiar little thing. You've got like a screen write button or something. Oh, so it takes a screenshot and you can write on here like this is important. That's pretty awesome. I will definitely, that's a feature I use on my note and that's a feature I will definitely be using on here as well. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and just discard this if uh, we can figure out how, there we go. All right, so say we go to the Play Store here, you can explore all the apps on the home screen and swipe down, okay. So let's go to the Play Store. And then we'll go ahead and update our apps and say we want to take a screenshot of something. You just drag this down and hit the screen right button. And we'll go, this app right here is what's causing me problems. This app right here. <laughs> Which it's not. It's just, this is really cool. I like this a lot. That's awesome. And you can change all the different things like the size so we can make them some big old little thing there. That's, that's pretty awesome. I'm definitely going to be using that feature. So far, I'm just thrilled. This is awesome. So we got our Wi-Fi, the sound, Bluetooth, all the stuff there. Can you scroll? You can't scroll left and right, but if you drag it down some more, you're going to see a lot more options like flashlight, battery saver, hotspot, and etc. And you can flick over to go to data saver and do not disturb, comfort view, and stuff like that. And you can hit edit, and you can add things. Like say you want an app to show up there. Now you can have it show up there. So that's pretty cool. Now we've got Talon Pull there. <laughs> so that Capture Plus is pretty awesome. We've got Recent Apps button. So multi-window, open two apps at once, tap on the icon at the re in the Recent Apps, or touch and hold the Overview button after opening the app. So we can go ahead and do this. And now we've got multi-window. And we can go ahead and interact with each one of these as if they're their own little entity. And we can do close out. Oh, that's, you've got, that's, this is really cool. This is awesome. So let's open up another app here. Or let's go to all of our apps. So they're all on the home screen here. Interesting. Uh, management, recommended, square camera, essentials. What's under essentials? Clock, calendar, calculator. That's pretty cool. So you don't have your traditional app thing. But if you want, you can download a home screen switcher like Nova Launcher, for example, that will take this and replace it with stock Android feel and look for your home screen. So I'm gonna try to get used to this and accept it and call it my own <laughs> before I uh, do anything. So this thing should be rocking just absolutely phenomenal specs. Let's go to about phone here and let's see just what is under here. There's the model number. For software information, it looks like we're on 7.0 and there you go. That's pretty much the gist of that. Under storage, it looks like we do have the 32 gig version. And of course you can go ahead and expand that storage to add more if you'd like to, which obviously I recommend doing so. That way you can store all your pictures and movie or videos you make and stuff like that on the memory card and save that internal storage for things that you care about like apps and etc. Obviously this is just the unboxing. I don't know much about the phone. I went ahead and set up the fingerprint and showed you the transfer process in case you're trying to bring your old phone and put it into your new phone. Uh, typically, I like to just start completely fresh, but a lot of the things I had on my 6P, I really wanted to have on here as well. So I'm going to do a what's on my Android here very soon. I might even include it on this phone. Apps like Clipper Plus, I just, I don't know what I would do without them. And then this app basically checks to see the cable if you plug into a computer and stuff. And so a lot of these apps are stuff I use a whole lot. Interesting looking dialer. That's pretty different and unique. The HD button there for HD voice. And then we'll take a quick little look at the camera app. Uh, turn on. I actually do like location in my photos. 
just because sometimes you take a photo of something and you weren't quite sure where it was or you're taking pictures of an accident or something. I just, I like to have the location on it. You can always remove it later on if you really don't want people to see it there. And it looks like it pulled up the pictures. I really like Quick Pick. That's one of my favorite apps. It looks like, uh, yeah, all the pictures from my other phone are now on this phone. That's pretty awesome. All right, that's about it for this video. Keep on the lookout. I'm going to have a first impressions, and then I'm going to post a review, and I might even root this thing if that's not a problem, and then maybe see if the bootloader is unlockable, actually, then root it if it is, and then maybe install some ROMs or something. I'm definitely going to be making several videos on this phone, so if you are interested in future coverage on the LG G6, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button, and right next to it is a little bell icon. If you click that, It'll actually send emails every time I upload a video. So that's about it. The design of the phone is awesome. It feels like a solid, sturdy phone. And I've just, so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm going to play with it more and give you a completely honest review of this thing here in the next week or two. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it. And please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I'm the most active and you can get in touch with me there. It's a whole lot easier to get in touch with me on Twitter than it is anywhere else on the internet. So definitely, definitely follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter. And if you don't have one, make one just for me. I'm just kidding. But make one, seriously. If you want to support the channel, there's going to be a link in the description. You can go ahead and click it, bookmark it, and then use that to purchase stuff on Amazon in the future. And that'll help me make more videos. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.